Hello creative people. Welcome back to my channel, LT Art and Craft. Today I am going to show you how to make an Irish shutter card without a die cut. Let's go. Usually Irish shutter cards are made using this die cuts, these are slightly expensive, and also, we need a die cut machine to use these dies. But, as I said in the title, I will show you how to make the Irish shutter card without using a die cut. Firstly, take an A4 sized card paper and make the shown drawings. Pause and take the screenshot of the dimensions, they might come in handy. Cut the pieces. Make a small hole on the sectored shaped parts using a safety pin as shown. The dimensions of the parts are very important, so make sure you get them exactly as I showed. Now, take these two parts and put one over the other, such that we can make a small hole on the backside part as well. Now, we need to combine these pieces using a wire. For this action, many of the crafters use a double-sided sticky tape, but I feel wire does the job perfectly. You can easily find a flexible wire at your home, check your USB cables for this wire and remove the plastic coating. Cut the wire for about 2 inches in length. That would be sufficient. Make a loop on one end so that it would act as a stopper. Make a loop on other side as well. Please be careful while handling sharp objects. Make the loop and you should end up with this action. Curl the wire so that it doesn't create any damage later. You can secure the wire in place by using a cello tape. The sharp edge will also be protected. We will do it in later stages. Do the same for all the three parts. Do not make it too tight or too loose. Leave appropriate amount of gap for flexible action.
Now, we have to join this piece. Make sure the holes are more vertical, and the curve is bending towards your right as shown. If you put it the other way, the action does not work as expected. Insert the longer side first, and then the smaller tip will automatically get adjusted inside the hole. Longer side, then shorter one. Longer one, then shorter one. If you have followed my instructions correctly, you will be getting this action without any difficulty. Here, as I said before, we have to secure the wire with a cello tape. This will provide a smooth action. Now it's perfect. Let's put on some finishing touches. Make sure the extra projection is to the left side of the D-shaped cut. If it is on the right side your motion will not happen. Do not stick it too tightly, allow some gap, so that all the mechanism could move freely. It's almost done. It just needs some stiffness in this part, so we will add our last piece which we cut previously. Add some glue, I'm using Vivi Call as I like it, you can use any glue of your choice. Let it dry, and done. You can stick a picture behind it so it looks like a camera clicking the picture. Here you can see how this iris shutter card can be used. Do you want me to do a tutorial of any specific thing? Let me know in the comment section below this video. Thank you for watching till the end. And don't forget to share it with your other creative friends. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you be the first one to know when I upload another cool video.